In this video, I want to talk about an under-the-radar global provider of emission-critical push-to-talk solutions that may, not guaranteed, that's why I'm saying may, have 2,300% potential upside after just hitting a new 52-week low last month. This is a stock currently under 15 cents, trading on the NASDAQ. I will give an update on another stock in the middle of this video that I covered in the previous video that reported financial results last month and revealed an improvement of an approximately a 1,000 basis point year over year increase. At the end of the video, I'm going to give an update on a $1 artificial intelligence stocks. And if you've been paying attention to the market after hours, you just saw C3AI break over $30 in after hours. At the very end of the video, I'll go over a 45 cent stock and quick mention on overall AI stocks, they're going crazy after hours because NVDA crushed earnings pretty much due to AI. You got C3 over $30, GFAI moving up, IFBD, BBAI, SOUN, BFRG. This is kind of a list of what you want to be looking at if you're interested in trading AI stocks. And what really helped them beat earnings, and video I'm talking about, is a growing demand for generative AI. This, this whole NVIDIA run, this whole Nvidia run due to them, you know, selling a lot of generative AI and being it being in high demand. This could very well bring back another artificial intelligence hype wave. We'll see what happens. Remember, just don't get FOMO. Quantum computing stocks are also rip, ripping after this NVIDIA news. This sector, quantum computing, is much smaller than the AI sector. I do believe it has extreme potential in the short and long term. IO1Q is the leader of this sector when it comes to the small cap stocks. I'm pretty sure the market cap is at about 1.2 to 1.5 billion right now. I've been talking about IONQ since $5 per share. QBTS as well. This ripped 100% recently, so be careful with it. But it's so, so strong. And then you got RGTI and ARQQ. These are a few quantum computing small caps you want to pay attention to. The under 20 cent stock I want to talk about in this video is ticker SYTA, Saita Mobile, currently sitting at a $10 million market cap, $10.41 million. Just tonight, actually just a few moments ago, CETA posted first quarter 2023 financial results, and they recorded $1.8 million revenue for the quarter, a 116% year-over-year increase. That was just, you know, in after hours just a few moments ago. That was an earnings beat because the street was estimating they're going to get 1 million revenue for the quarter, but they hit 1.8 million, almost doubling what the street projected them to hit. SYTA is a nano cat, which means it's one of the smallest companies in the entire market right now. SYTA was given a $2.50 target from Zach Small Cat Research. And now keep in mind, that does not guarantee it's going to go ahead and hit $2.50 from the current levels, as nothing in the market is, is a guarantee, but it, it is a bullish sign. For example, I saw QBTS the other day get a $2 price target. Does it mean it's going to go to $2? No, but it did run up because of that price target that they put out there. It's just a good sign for these companies that they're getting you know these great price targets. CETA received a $900,000 order on May 3rd to supply a U.S. school district their products. So they're getting orders. People are buying their products. In late 2022, I just wanted to go back on this news because I found it very interesting. The U.S. Navy was actually buying products from CETA. I don't know if they still are to this day, but it's a good sign that people are interested in their products, especially when it's the U.S. Navy purchasing them. SYTA, SYTA has demonstrated resilience with a 48% bounce in under 26 business days after hitting its 52-week low of $0.10 cents on April 14th. SYTA has partnership with major carriers, including Verizon, AT&T, NT Mobile, Verizon, $151 billion company, AT&T, $114 billion company, T-Mobile, $168 billion company. These are some major partnerships for a company that's just sitting at a $10 million market cap. SYTA announced the successful deployment of its mission-critical push-to-talk solution for security and other communications at the 2023 Special Olympics. New York Winter Games, that, that's what, it, that's what they, they were using their products for. Major organizations and major companies are either using CETA product or they're partnered with them. What's a potential catalyst for SYTA? 
Australia's largest wireless carrier is expected to commence sales of CETA's SD7 product in quarter two of 2023. SYTA is currently participating in the critical communications world. It's May 24th right now, and they are participating in this from May 23rd to May 25th, so it should end tomorrow. Since quarter two ends on June 30th, you know, this, what I was talking about right here, where they're going to commence sale of CETA's SD7 product in quarter two of 2023, the potential catalyst, that should be, that should come by June 30th, since the since quarter two does end on June 30th. In the previous video, I covered MVLA and said there's a G decent chance we see a dip before moving back higher. And that's literally exactly what we got. We covered it right around here. It dipped and then it ran up today from the low to the high. It made a 52% move and I did see it moving after hours a little bit. Now, let me talk about some further MVLA DD from Tim O'Connell on Twitter. He is very bullish on it. I agree with him and I am very bullish on this one. So MVA, MVLA digitizes motion. They posted 40 million revenue in 2022 and over 65 million in cash, despite 90% of IPO buyers redeeming their rights for cash back at $10 per share. So they have a good cash position. They are also incorporating AI, and we see what C3 AI is doing right now with NVIDIA and all that good stuff. Tim over here on Twitter said he took a flight to, to Nevada a few weeks ago to visit MVLA. He met with the CEO and CFO, and he left there with, with more confidence that the stock is an asymmetric opportunity. A few days ago, the MVLA CEO posted on LinkedIn. His name is Ben Lee. He shared that Tesla is using Movelos, MVLA. They're, they're using their mocap suit for digitizing movement. So Tesla is a customer of MVLA, which is huge, huge, huge for this company. Looking really, really good. The Tesla Optimist Twitter page even posted a tweet. This is their first tweet ever on this Tesla Optimist Twitter page. And you can see it is an official Tesla Twitter page. And this tweet, and they're showcasing MVLA's technology in this tweet. And this tweet went fairly, fairly viral with over 6.4 million views and 23K likes. And like I said, it's their only Twitter post on this page so far. So that's really, really interesting. I think this that MVLA has further potential even from these levels, but I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell. Don't chase any stocks. Look for dips. You know, use risk management. Use stop losses, all that good stuff. Small caps, penny stocks, they're all very, very risky risky. Now, let's talk about ticker IFBD InfoBird at a 5 million market cap. IFBD dropped 10% today during market hours. Like I talked about in the previous video, I said I can see a 10 to 15% drop before the bounce. Now, I really wanted to see the whole, want to see it hold the dollar level, which it has been doing so far, especially because we're getting this AI hype rally in after hours and IFBD is benefiting from that. And over the next few days, it should get to the end of this wedge right here. And obviously, I would like to see it break up over the out of that wedge to the to the upside. But anything can happen. It could break down to the downside. That's why you need to use risk management. Although IFBD does have a recent history of really big moves, like 120 percent in a single day, for example. This is an AI related stock. Like I said, China's leading AI SAS software service provider. And it's at a 5 million market cap and 4.33 million float. So the share structure is looking great. And I don't believe they can dilute until over $2 per share. Or, you know, I think it's about $250. Now, next stock ticker is ZVSA at an 8.7 million market cap. I'm giving a quick update on ZVSA. There's nothing new to talk about with this one. I went over everything I could. But I just want to express that I still do like ZVSA. It is high risk. Use risk management. Use maybe a... 20% stop loss or so just in case something crazy happens, bad news comes out, and you're not holding the bag. But I'll post the video in the top 10 comment that goes in depth about ZVSA and all this due diligence that I'm looking at with this stock and these connections to AMAM, a $700 million biotech company. Their next catalyst is their conference in early June. So I still like ZVSA. Make sure you sign up for Moomoo if you want the ability to trade pre-market and after hours, 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern time. A lot of big moves are happening after hours and pre-market. You got to be able to trade pre-market after hours. It's essential. And if you use my link in the top, pin comment sign up after using my link you can get up to 20 free stocks that ends in only a few days thank you to sytsaita mobile group 
for sponsoring that portion of the video. This was a paid promotion and a sponsored video just for the SYTA part, not the other, not the other stocks I was talking about. Always do your own research on any stock I cover. Don't I don't give advice to buy, hold, or sell any stock on this channel. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. Penny stocks are risky. Drop a like on this video if you do enjoy this content. That's it for me. Peace.